Hi everyone. So this question says that the, the graph of y equals f of x is given. Okay, and that's, that's over here. Okay. And what we're supposed to do with this is we're going to stretch it vertically about the x-axis by a factor of 2 and horizontally by a factor of a half. We're going to sketch that and we're going to talk about the domain and the range. So let's take a quick look here. Okay. So when we, when we talk about stretching something, let's say vertically by a factor of 2, what we mean here is that the y-coordinate gets multiplied by 2. So notice that the y-coordinate here, not actually we will do is I'll zoom the right in on this. Notice that the y-coordinate here at this point, and this is what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take key points here. I'm going to multiply the y-coordinate by 2, and then I'm going to multiply the x-coordinate, in this case negative 2 by a half. So what we get here is x comma y is going to become 1 half x comma 2y. So here, this point here is going to go up twice as twice the distance from the x-axis, but half the distance to the y-axis. So there we go. This point right here is going to go up, and then it's going to move in half the distance. So because it was at negative 1, now it's going to be at negative a half here. This one, well, this is a great one here, because the, y cord, the x and y coordinates are both 0, so half of 0 is 0, two, 2 times 0 is 0. This one right here, now be aware of how this works here. The x coordinate is going to get multiplied by a half, which is going to bring it in. Okay, to half here, because it's at 1 here, it's going to become a half. The y coordinate is 2, it's going to go up to 4. So this one's going to go here. This point is going to go, it's, it's got a y coordinate, sorry, an x coordinate of 2, so half of that is going to be 1. And then a y coordinate of 2 becomes 4, so it's going to go up to here. So this is actually going to look like this. Yikes. Yikes, right there. It's going to get really narrow. And that's our graph there. Now, our domain and our range of that graph right there, uh, in terms of domain, it used to go from negative 2 to 2. Now it's going to go from negative 1 out to 1, half of that. Okay? The range used to be 0 to 2. We're going to multiply those both by 2 here, but 0 times 2 is still 0. 2 times 2, however, is 4, so it goes 0 to 4.